Mr. Excel podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel for Mr. Excel podcast episode 1522 Comparative Histogram. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellin. Today's question sent in by JB. JB is trying to create a comparative histogram like this one. So here's the trick. Here's the data. We have the categories, the male percent and the female percent. And you want to copy this data and make a copy of it over here because we need to make the male side uh, negative. So I'm just using minus uh, B2, copy that down. Then we're going to create a stacked bar chart from this data. So insert bar, choose the stacked bar. All right, you see, we start to get pretty close there. A couple things, layout, legend, show legend at the top. Uh, the categories are going backwards, so let's choose the axis. Control-1 to format, categories in reverse order. That will get the categories going the other way. It also gets the axis at the top. Let's see, major tick mark type, none. Um, da -da -da -da. Oh, we want labels, all right, so to get labels, and this is a little bit tricky, data labels. A uh, little bit of more data label options that adds the data labels actually, and you see that the uh, male side happens to be selected. So we're going to go into the number format. I'm going to create a custom format, and right here. So this is for positive. This is for negative. For negative, we don't want to show the minus sign. Click Add, and use that. Click Close. There we go. So the negative signs are gone. Um, in the original example here, the columns are a heck of a lot wider. So we will choose one of these, control one, and the gap width. It's your call whether you want to make it no gap like that or just a tiny little gap um, like that one. But I think that's uh, pretty good. Most of the time as these comparative histograms have one side sorted. Uh, so I did that here. But um, you know, fairly, uh, it's not straightforward certainly, but you can uh, get uh, pretty good labels. You know, I'm, I'm torn on the labels here. They put them in the center. Uh, and that is part of the, the axis, so that's the vertical category axis, control one. We can move the labels uh, low, down here on the left-hand side, let's take a look and see how that looks, or high on the right-hand side, your call, uh, where you want the, the labels to go, but you can kind of get this, this effect. Well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by, see you next time for another Netcast, Mr. Excel.